Bismillah. Hello, welcome back. In this class we shall write a simple assembly language program in 8086 to solve a series of numbers. Here I have taken 8 numbers in consecutive memory locations, let us assume. And we want to sort these numbers in either ascending order or descending order. So the basic logic here is totally 8 numbers are there. Let us take the first number which is pointed by SI. Let SI pointing to the first number. Let us take this number in some register. Say AL register is equal to the first number 99. And let us take some other register, DL is equal to the second number, so which is equal to 11. When I compare 99 and 11, 9 from 99, 11 can be subtracted without getting any carry. Therefore, carry flag is equal to 0. Now, in case if the carry flag is equal to 0, whatever is there in DL, this I will put in the first location, 11 here and whatever he was in AL that I will put in the second location 99 therefore ni earlier 99 11 was there now it is sorted in increasing order same way now let us compare these two now if let us take the this number that is let us take the next number 99 in AL and let us take the next number whatever is there here in 88 now here in this case also the carry flag is equal to 0 because from 99 88 can be subtracted carry flag is 0 when the carry flag is 0 let us interchange these two numbers this 88 I will put it here and this number 99 I will put it here right therefore up to this much is sorted now let us increment the source index now let us compare these two numbers first number in al the next number equal to 22 let us put it here now if i compare carry flag is equal to zero therefore this number 22 comes here second number and 99 comes here right now again if we proceed like this we are comparing the first two number then we compare the next two numbers then we compare these two this two then we compare these two then we compare these two likewise we shall compare the numbers once uh, one by one so i repeat again so first number was 99 and this number was 11 now how do we proceed whatever we did now let us incorporate in assembly language so let us take a notepad and let us write a comment therefore this one is sorting we shall sort in ascending order that is in the increasing order let us use the 18 and 86 so the first directory is model small then next directory is stack let us allocate 256 memory locations which is hexadecimal 100 h now let us take data i take n defined by i take some locations with number 11 h if i put h uh, it will be treated as hexadecimal 99 h then 22H, 88H, 33H, then let us take some number and random, then 44H, then 66H. So totally 8 numbers are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 numbers are not in order. One small, one big, one small, one big, small, big, small, big numbers are there. Right, since 8 numbers are there, I will take count, define word because I want to use in CX register. So therefore 8, 8 the how many numbers are there, 8 numbers are to be sorted, that's it my data. Then the code segment begins and here this we shall call it as begin and move in AX register the starting address of data and move in data segment AX, alright. Now move in CX register the number of bytes is equal to count, therefore my CX register becomes the length of the array that is 8 numbers are there. Right, even though 8 numbers are there, we compare 1 and 2, then we compare 2 and 3, then we compare 3 and 4. Since we take numbers in pairs, there are totally 7 comparisons. 1, then 2, and this one is 3, and this one is 4, and likewise this is 5, 
and this one is 6 and this one is 7. Since we take two two numbers in comparison, only seven comparisons we require. Therefore, I say decrement cx. Therefore, now cx is equal to 7. For in general, you know that for n numbers, n minus 1 comparisons are required. Therefore, 7. Alright. Now, I will take uh, uh, in yes i, that is, I point to the first number. Alright. Now, let us see that logic. Now, I will take the first number in al and the next number in dl. Let us write instruction for that. Therefore, the first number move in al, the first number, whatever is n, n of si, si is right now 0, therefore the first number is taken. Then move in dl, the second number, second number is si plus 1, okay. therefore the second number is in dl. Now we compare al and dl. As I said, when we compare these two numbers, suppose if this number is equal to say, the first number is bigger and the second number is smaller then if i compare in this case the carry flag is equal to zero when the carry flag is equal to zero i have to exchange i have to interchange swap these two numbers suppose if this number is equal to 22 and this number is equal to 99 from 22 99 cannot be subtracted unless it gets a carry therefore if carry flag is one the numbers are already sorted we need not swap Therefore, if carry flag is 1, let us not swap it. Let us write that instruction. Jump on carry, no swap. Swap is not required. Otherwise, what we do? So, carry flag is there, then we make no swap. Suppose if the carry flag equal to 0, whatever is in AL, that we have to input in this one. And whatever is in DL, we shall put it here. That is, we have to exchange the numbers. Therefore, whatever is in n of si i will put the dl number because this this is taken the second number is brought to the first location and what was in the first location move in yes n of si plus one actually n of si plus one this one we brought this one let us interchange this with the al number right now the no swap is there now here we have to increment the si so that it is repeated now we repeat seven times therefore this one decrement bx what is bx here we shall put this one is equal to move in bx this value is equal to cx all right now if bx is not equal to zero then we repeat jump on no zero i do next to comparison therefore next to comparison repeats the same thing so again it gets a number from the first location in AL, second number in DL and it compares and it does. Right. If all the seven comparisons are over, then again we have to repeat the thing for again for the next scan. Therefore, now here we loop to next scan and next scan again CX is to be initialized. Therefore, here is my next uh, scan. Okay. So, these are the only few instructions which are required for sorting and now here we shall uh, move ah comma 4ch and 4ch this is the service number and uh, this one interpreted 21h and end begin now let us save alt file save this one as i call it a sort dot sort ascending all right dot asm all files sort ascending all files let us save it let me check first whether it runs then again i will explain the logic so let us go to this one and we shall say tasm sort ascending fortunately no errors are there now let us compile it by compiling uh, sorry, link it and now this one the file name is sort ascending and that's this one and let us go to the debug program so debug my program is sort ascending that exe unassemble so this is the program what I have written, G for execute, D, dump the memory location, here you can see that this address is 0BDE, 0BDE colon 0. And uh, now let us see, these are the numbers what we have given, and uh, these are the numbers what I get. And here if you come across, you can see that the numbers are 11, and this is 22, then 33, 44, 66. 77 88 99 so these numbers 
are sorted from this location and of course the next one is the eight you can see that the next one is defined word eight it is all it is there now same way we can sort in the descending order also though instead of ascending order i can make this one is equal to descending order here instead of jump on carry if i make jump on no carry then now let us save it alt file save and let us do the compilation again quit and uh, tasm no errors are there let us apply the link and uh, now the file name is uh, sort a and uh, let us uh, run the program through debug uh, debug sort a dot exe and unassemble go dump from 0 b d e colon 0 and here now you can see that these are my numbers and here you can see that the numbers are sorted in descending order 99 88 77 66 44 33 22 11 of course this is your account the count of the word so here what actually happens is here i am doing one then two comparison then three comparison likewise i do seven comparisons then next time what i do is again from here to here i compare therefore six comparisons i do then again we do five comparisons likewise <coughs> we keep on doing uh, keep on decrementing we make seven comparisons in the beginning yes we do seven comparisons in the first scan then we do six comparisons in the second scan then we do five comparisons in the third scan then likewise a four comparison four comparison then like th th this one three comparisons then again two comparison then finally one comparison we end it up and we get the numbers are sorted you can see that the numbers are sorted either in the increasing order or in the descending order so here the point only you have to remember is the first number is taken the second number is taken in the register if the first number is smaller than and according to the what we require we exchange see that here from the second location dl was taken now dl is transferred to the first location now al was taken from the first location now al is transferred to the second location and we do so many comparisons and we repeat the for each scan and finally we exit by means of the uh, of service number 4ch and enter 21 right hope uh, this uh, would have given a simple understanding of sorting in assembly language remaining we shall see in next lecture please do comments and please subscribe my channel thank you so much